Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. In the heart of South Africa's vibrant educational landscape, private schooling giant Kuro finds itself again in the centre of controversy. Hello everyone, my name is Naliri Mpule and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the latest edition of the African Diaspora News Channel, where we unravel the stories that shape our world and our communities. Today we dive deep into the currents of information from the pulse of politics to the heartbeat of entertainment. We've got it all covered, so please stay tuned for news experience like no other. Known for its prestigious reputation, Kuro's attempt to celebrate Career Day on their social media platforms has sparked an uproar, turning the institution into the public eye for reasons far from celebratory. Now, a seemingly innocent gallery of Career Day photos took an unexpected turn when it depicted racial stereotyping that echoes a broader societal issue. Now, at the heart of the storm lies in a photograph now absent from the revised post, which portrayed white children as veterinarians, which are symbols of care and ambition, while a black student was captured behind a teal, embodying the role of a cashier. Now, this imagery has ignited a fierce debate over racial stereotypes and representation with accusations of conditioning and racism being levied against the institution. When you post a picture, especially for an institution like Kuro, that has had racism and stereotype scandals over the years, they have to be even more extra careful about what they put out on social media and how that may be viewed. So I think intention is quite important. So when you even do a picture like that, that you're going to post at Kuro, where you're making a black child a cashier and you're making the white child someone who comes and is shopping there because they are a vet, they are a doctor, that speaks to the stereotypes. But if you're intentional, you're able to find a way to portray that image differently without playing into what historically has been the picture for black and white people in this country. Voices across the nation have risen in outcry from Twitter to town halls. The sentiment is unified, disappointment and disbelief. How could an educational institution tasked with modeling young minds fumble so profoundly in its portrayal of aspirational roles? Now calls for introspection and accountability grow louder as the community demands answers and action. Some took to social media to share their thoughts with one saying, what always baffles me in cases like this is that marketing materials go through various points of approval before being made public. At no point in that chain does somebody at Kuro say this is racist. Nobody. What's sad is that sometimes in these chain of checks and approval, they are black folks. With a second saying, Kuro is forever apologizing over racism. And with a third saying, Kuro must continue to show them blacks that they ain't until they build they own private schools. And another saying, Kuro believes the destiny of black people is being cashiers while whites can have careers of their, of their choices and owning means of production. Now, honestly, education plays a critical role in shaping societal perceptions and breaking down barriers. What children see and learn in school forms the foundation of their beliefs and aspiration. 
Now, I do think it's essential that all institutions, especially entrusted with educating our youth, promote inclusiveness and equality more than anything. Now, this isn't Kira's first dance with controversy. Their history, ruined by previous incidents of racism, paints a complex picture of an institution grappling with the legacy and present challenges of diversity in South Africa. From the suspension of staff members for derogatory remarks to the outcry over racially insensitive class assignments, the pattern raises questions about the culture within its walls. And um, we then decided that we need to launch an investigation because you would not know what might have um, influenced, you know, the situation. So we need to understand on why this happened because you can now reach a conclusion that um, this is what you see and might have, uh, you know, been led to by anything. So, so we need to understand from, you know, Kuro itself, on those that are involved, all of them, um, what was, um, uh, you know, the reason why this uh, happened in this fashion. Now, as parents and com communities wrestle with feelings of betrayal and concern, the undercurrents of frustration highlight a deep-seated yearning for progress and understanding. The drama unfolding around Kuro serves as a imitation of a larger conversation happening nationwide, which is a conversation about race, representation and the responsibility of educational institution to foster environments where all children can dream big, unconstrained by the color of their skin. Now, Kira has since apologized on Sunday, acknowledging the picture was initially posted by the company on social media, but was deleted after backlash. They released a statement saying, Kuro Holdings acknowledges that a post was published on social media portraying children in various workplace contexts was offensive due to the inappropriate stereotypes it depicted. The post was in error and has been deleted. Now, the company promised to investigate as questions arose about whether the child chose to pose as a cashier all Kuro officials made that decision themselves. Now, in, in, in the wake of this incident, there's an emerging call of action, which is a push towards open dialogue, firm oversight, and careful sensitivity training within educational systems. As South Africa marches forward, the path of reconciliation and inclusivity demands more than just the superficial changes. It requires a foundational shift towards empathy, awareness, and unity. As Kiro navigates this hurricane, the lessons learned extend far beyond the classroom walls. They touch the very essence of what it means to be part of the Rainbow Nation, a collective journey towards healing, respect, and an unwavering commitment to justice and equality for all. That's it for me. Please share your thoughts on the comment section. We want to hear from you. And be sure to please give this video a thumbs up. That is it from me. Till we meet again, it is goodbye for now.